Beezy, you was just a vibe. I needed you. You answered the phone. You text me straight back. I had a long day, and I needed a laugh. And I knew my dog was going to lift me up. You always do it. You just so free spirit. You so funny. No, I believe in God, baby. Ain't no free spirit. That's just my, you know what I'm saying? That's just my personality. I like to uplift people, motivate people, inspire people. You know how I get out. You know, I ghost write music and comedy, but, you know what I'm saying, my, my, my real purpose, you know what I'm saying, is to inspire this generation because there's no mentorship, you know what I'm saying, no guidance. I don't talk down on the streets when I talk to them, shit. I just try to give them guidance to reroute because they be thinking this shit's sweet and it's in God's will that the people make it out of what they make it out of. It's not luck. It's not finesse. It's God. OMG, that is so real, Beezy. You just be inspiring the kids. You only got one daughter and you just res inspiring this whole generation. Shit, that's the goal, baby. You know what I'm saying? You got to find your purpose and stay ten toes to it. It's a humbling experience getting out the street, you know, tonight and um, working for somebody, but. By laid on the Giselle, that's exactly what I did. My pride ain't too much, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go get that job. If I, you know what I'm saying, fuck up the money, I'm gonna go get that job. Cause some paper got fucked up and I had to stay down. Some niggas pride won't let them go to work. They rather rob or kick a door. That is so real, Beezy. Like, for real, these niggas don't know how to be a man no more. It's just like, just take care of your business as a man. You don't have to be a street nigga. <laughs> nah, baby, I ain't gonna talk like that because I used to love the bitches. I just thought beef. I used to love them streets for real. You know what I'm saying? It used to give me a rush. I used to love beef. But it's just like God allowed me to overcome that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go to prison. My name ain't in no paperwork. Look me up. Google me. You know what I'm saying? See my, my government name and that little site they be checking to see if somebody told and trying to hide it. Look me up, shit. I'm a fish. I just fought up a few dollars in these streets, but I remain solid. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never fooled. When it was time for that, I was always ready. So I fought up a little paper. I'm gonna get it all. I'm gonna get it all back. Shit. Oh, I will plug a tooth from back when I was doing it. You know. And I'm gonna straighten them boys out. BZ, you is a stand-up guy. You changed your life for your daughter. You don't even like to have company when your daughter home. You is the definition of a real nigga. Nah, baby. I'm really not. Because I don't like using the term real nigga, you know? You know what I'm saying? Because it, it get thrown out the, the wrong way. That real, man. For real. Niggas be just using that shit. Just because you're a street nigga don't make you a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? There's some suckers out here. Snakes. These bitches ain't real. That's when niggas get the game fucked up. They think the street's real. The bitches never been real. Just back in the day, you could stand and make some money without niggas telling on you. And um, they was way more solid. You speaking the gospel tonight. They call me wordplay bees, baby. You know, I just like to give guidance. You know what I'm saying? I don't preach to these kids. Shit, I'm going to give you guidance three route. You act like you ain't paying no attention. I'm going to keep it moving. Shit, if you still in these streets, I get guidance to guide you through them bitches. I just don't want you to fall. I advise you not go that route. But if I know you feel true in your heart, you going that route. Talk to me, shit. Pull a big breath to the side. I give you a little guidance. I, I maneuver pretty well. You know what I'm saying? When I was in them. But I I, I find my purpose. And um, I got a beautiful four-year-old daughter that's a genius. No cap. And um, I live for her. And I changed my life for her. And I'm to get this money for her. That's real. 
I'm gonna wash these dishes for you because I know you finna cook that meal. My baby daddy just cooked us a DiGiorno's pizza and chopped up some turkey. And Beezy, guess what? What's up? The nigga had the audacity to say wah la when he pulled it out of the oven. <laughs> Type shit. That man took time out to do that though. Appreciate it. That's effort. You right, you right. But he ain't you, Beezy. You be cooking. You only got one daughter. We got four kids and shit. I might be praying it out. <laughs> Type shit. What you doing over here? Girl, I don't play them type game. You so funny. We just friends. I been on you, but I know. You know what? I know. You don't fuck me like that. Ain't nothing like that, baby. I was just respecting your situation. I don't like to fuck up happy homes, you know? Shit, keep that shit solid with your nigga. Work it out. Fight. If you love him, fight for him. Like, shit, you know I don't talk down on niggas. I don't throw salt to get pussy. I don't pillow talk to get no pussy. I only spoke on a female, to a female about one situation. And I known her for like eight years at the time, so I had to speak on it. I wasn't no sucker duck, but I wasn't on no pillow talking shit. I just had to straighten that out. That's real now. Bees, stop talking your shit, because you going to make me. Make you what? You know he been getting on my nerve, and he ain't been, you know what I'm saying, coming home like that. I ain't for show prayed, and I was just saying that because I know we had fun a couple of weeks ago. I'm saying what you, you said, all I like to say what? I got to be home in an hour because we're still at the bar having drinks. Uh Type shit. So you think you with your homegirls right now? That's the finesse you ran? I mean, well, we was, but we decided not to. And um, I just want to come see my old friend, Big Head. Chill out now. You know how I'm geared. Chill out. I know you missed this, put. What? Man, you better stop playing with me, man. You already know. But shit, I got to get right, man. I went grocery shopping today because they come on tomorrow. You know, I'm going to cook my baby. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to go feed the ducks, bop our shit, do what we want to do. See, why you going to say that and play like that, bees? You know that turned me on. You was a great father. Get a condom. Damn.